All right, Signal. Signal's all the rage now, because apparently WhatsApp changed their privacy policy and that caused a stir and everyone started jumping onto Signal. So what is it? It's a long and boring 12-page document, but it basically says WhatsApp will now share user metadata with Facebook, because Facebook owns WhatsApp. And on top of that, a recent endorsement tweet from Elon Musk led to a surge of Signal usage over the last week. So if you are one of those people who want to jump ship to Signal and want to know how it works, or how good is it, and all the tips and tricks, you've come to the right place. We've made a video on this, this one. So I'm Vamsi on Smart Dance Proxy and I for one really prefer users privacy. So if you want to jump on board with Signal, I've made a list of tips and tricks that are useful for you to you know, start getting on with Signal instead of using WhatsApp. If you're in the US, most probably you're just using iPhones, you know, messaging feature, but if you are, you can still use this. So Signal, just like many other social media apps, it's end-to-end -end encrypted and it's free to download and it's on Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, you know, Linux as well. So you can just download that if you're on your Linux laptop, stranger and unique unicorn. All right, just download the official Signal app from either the App Store or, you know, Google Play Store for Android. Go through the setup process to give Signal a phone number and access to your contacts. Contact access is optional and even if you provide it, Signal doesn't upload your contacts to its servers, rather the hash phone numbers. You can then start conversations from within the app. If you have someone in your contacts and that person's phone number is associated with a Signal account, you'll see that contact on them like just like WhatsApp on Signal. It's just like any other messaging app to be honest. Now that you've installed Signal, let's see some good practice and see some of the tips and tricks that are useful to make it more effective on your phone. This is one of my favorite add-ons in the Signal app. You can enable disappearing messages from the chat info and select the fixed time for about five seconds to one week to remove messages. When you message the other person, you'll notice a live timer that goes around suggesting that the time left for a self-destructive message. I mostly use it for forward OTP messages and then other confidential information like bank details to family members. So just like WhatsApp, Signal also allows you to disable write receipt and typing indicator so that users on the other hand don't notice when you read or type a new message. Go to Signal settings, privacy, and turn off write receipts and typing indicators for all users. Again, similar to WhatsApp and Telegram, Signal allows you to lock your app using biometrics on the device. So go to Signal Settings, Privacy, Screen Lock, and enable the option. By default, it's set to 15 minutes, so you can change it from an instant to an hour duration to lock the app. And at any point, you can disable the function from your privacy menu. So you can use your Signal on your iPad or laptop and link the account to the one on your phone. Say you're using Signal on your iPhone and you link it to your Mac using your QR code. This can be found in the Link Devices feature in the app settings. Your account will get synced to your Mac, but all previous conversations won't appear on the Mac though. That's because all messaging history is stored on the individual device itself. Just like WhatsApp. Similar to WhatsApp and iMessage, Signal also supports Link Preview and the Signal app uses a privacy enhancing proxy so the site you're previewing never even sees your IP address. Simply tap on your profile picture and select the privacy option from the overflow menu and then you can toggle on and off for the Generate Link Preview setting. The best part is, even if you choose to leave the Generate Link Preview feature on, you can still remove previews before sending individual messages. For example, when you send a new message and paste a URL, a preview image and a text snipper will appear above the link. To remove it, tap X on the icon found in the top right corner of the preview box. You can send the link without the preview by tapping on the blue arrow button. Typing indicator allows you to see when someone you're communicating with is typing a text or, you know, basically you wouldn't see it. It basically consists of three moving dots inside a bubble. However, if they're a slow typer, thankfully you can turn off typing indicators off in Signal. So select the privacy option from the list of the settings menu and toggle off the typing indicators in an option. 
Do keep in mind, turning off typing indicators or even red receipts will disable the feature for both yourself and the person you're communicating with. If they keep the setting enabled, they'll see typing indicators and red receipts in other chats, but not in the conversations with you. So if you don't want to send photos with people's faces in them, Signal provides an easy way to blur photos you send. The Send Photos option includes an automatic face blurring tool. So if you want to do that, tap on the plus sign and tap on the picture to send and then tap on the blur button which looks like a circle with a black and white tiles inside it. And then toggle blur faces. You can draw anywhere on the screen with your finger to blur additional information on some IDs or photos or something like that. Based on the current trend, you're going to receive a number of notifications suggesting X-Contact joins Signal on your device. Sometimes it's good to know which friend or family member joins Signal, but over time it's going to be, you know, annoying and unnecessary add-on to your notification center. Thankfully, Signal offers a way to decide which pop-ups should show up and which ones shouldn't. Open the Signal app and go to the app settings. Navigate to notifications, events, and then disable contact join signal option and you're good to go. Okay, that's pretty much it. And there's a reason why people like Elon Musk or Edward Snowden started using Signal instead of other social media apps from the United States because privacy is hard to find now. Because <laughs> look at Facebook, Twitter, and all the other people, they have all of your data. Anyway, I'm Vam Dimas Martin's Proxy. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, subscribe, because that way you'll get notifications every time we put a new video. Make sure that you click on the bell icon there because YouTube really sucks with that. As always, I'm Vamsi, thanks for watching, and I guess I'll see you in the next one, because I've been saying this for a long time now.